everybody and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me for this evening of prayer and song for healing. With me this evening are Anne Colleen, I'll be doing the music, and of course we can't forget about Sydney, who's behind the camera this evening. So again, it's such a, a joy and a blessing to gather this evening and to pray and sing for healing. There is so much suffering going on in the world because of the coronavirus, but there's also a lot of other suffering as well that we don't hear as much about on the news. People are struggling with loneliness, depression, anxiety. People have lost their jobs. People are struggling financially. Many people are wrestling with addictions. There are couples who are dealing with marital troubles. And so there are so many things that we have to pray for. And so that is why we're coming together this evening. Not only to pray for an end to the coronavirus, but to pray for all these other things as well. Because if we know one thing for certain, as people of faith, as Catholics, as Christians, is that God is a healer. The Bible is filled with stories about healing. And of course, we know and we believe that they're not just stories on paper, but these are true. These things really happened. And just as healing happened thousands of years ago, it happens today as well. We believe that. So that's what we are coming together for this evening. That is what we are praying for. That God would bring about a healing in just so many different ways for all the different needs that people have during this time. So I really invite you to just enter into this time of prayer, to open your hearts, to open your minds, and just allow the Lord to give you comfort and lift up the needs that you want to pray for whether they're for yourselves or for others. Because we know for certain that God will hear our prayers this evening. And so we put all those prayers and all those needs before him. I want to start with a verse from Scripture. It's from the Old Testament book of Jeremiah, chapter 17. And it says this, Heal me, Lord, that I may be healed. Save me that I may be saved. For it is you whom I praise. Thank you. 
Anxiety, as we know, is a normal part of life. We all deal with it. And sometimes it's really mild, and sometimes it can be pretty severe. I think that all of us during this time are dealing with anxiety. Not only about the present, but about the future as well. And the Lord gives us some very comforting words in Scripture about our anxieties, about our worries. He knows that these things are not just going to evaporate from us. It's part of our, our being human. But he offers us these very comforting words so that we can know during these times of anxiety that he is with us and that he's not going to abandon us, but he wants to take care of us. And there's a scripture passage in Matthew's Gospel that personally I find very comforting. And from time to time when I experience anxiety in my life, I go to it. And it just reminds me to let go and 
not allow myself to become overwhelmed with the anxiety, but just turn things over to the Lord and to, to trust in Him, to just let it go. And so if whatever anxieties you're dealing with right now, whether it's about the present or about the future, I invite you as we pray this evening to offer those anxieties to the Lord. Don't allow those things to feel like a weight on your shoulders. Just offer them up to the Lord. And allow His peace to come upon you. Allow His comfort to be upon you. To help you during this time. So now I want to share these words from Matthew's Gospel with you. This is Jesus speaking to us. And He says, I warn you then, do not worry about your livelihood what you are to eat or drink or use for clothing. Is not life more than food? Is not the body more valuable than clothes? Look at the birds in the sky. They do not sow they, or reap. They gather nothing into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not more important than they? Which of you, by worrying, can add a moment to his lifespan? As for clothes, why be concerned? Learn a lesson from the way the wild flowers grow. They do not work, they do not spin. Yet I assure you, not even Solomon in all his splendor was arrayed like one of these. If God can clothe in such splendor the grass of the field, which blooms today and is thrown on the fire tomorrow, will he not provide much more for you, a weak in faith? Stop worrying them over questions like what are we to eat, or what are we to drink, or what are we to wear. The unbelievers are always running after these things. Your Heavenly Father knows all that you need. Seek first His kingship over you, His way of holiness, and all these things will be given you besides. Thank you. 
thank you, Anna and Colleen. And in the Lord, we do find our peace. And that's so important for us to know during this time, when we do experience anxiety, that we turn to the Lord and in Him we find our peace. We just take everything and we, we offer it to Him. And say, Lord, maybe I don't understand what's going on. Maybe I don't understand where the future is going to lead me. But I know that in you I find my peace. And I know that in you, Lord, I find my healing. I want to share another scripture with you from Matthew's Gospel. And again, this speaks to us about healing is what God does. And it was such an important part of the ministry of Jesus. Time and time again, he was healing people. To remind people of the power of God. And that illness or even death is not more powerful than God. So this is from the 14th chapter of Matthew. After making the crossing, they reached the shore at Gennesaret. And when the men of that place recognized him, they spread the word throughout the region. People brought him all the afflicted with the plea that he left them and do no more than touch the tassel of his cloak. As many as touched it were fully restored to health. So all the people did was they reached out and they touched Jesus. They touched the tassel of his cloak and they experienced healing. So that's what we're doing tonight. We are reaching out to the Lord. We are touching Him and allowing Him to touch us so that we can experience that healing that we need. Healing from physical illness, emotional illness, healing perhaps from some spiritual struggles. Maybe some of you are wondering, where is God during this time? It's a normal question. But I can assure you that God is here. And he is reaching out to us and asking us to reach back to him. Because he does want to pour out his healing power upon us. So this time I'm going to pray for healing. And I want you, of course, to join me as I pray. And think about what do you need to place before the Lord. Not only for yourself, but for others and for a whole world. So let's just take a moment of quiet as we prepare to begin and really open our hearts and our minds to the Lord and just lay everything before Him and trust, of course, in His power to heal. Almighty Father, as we come before you this evening, we are weak, we are broken, we are confused, we are suffering, we are struggling. We are concerned about ourselves, we are concerned about others, we are concerned about the future, and we're filled with anxiety, and maybe we're not hoping in you as we, we always should hope in you, as you ask us to hope in you. And so, Almighty Father, we lift ourselves up to you this evening, and all of our needs we place before you. And so I pray for an end to the coronavirus, for healing for all those who are ill, and healing for their families as well as they struggle during this time. Pray for healing for all the other health issues that people are experiencing at this time. Those who are experiencing cancer and heart disease, that your healing power will be upon them. Also, Lord, we pray for those who during this time are struggling with loneliness. May they know that they are not alone, but that you are their companion. May friends reach out to them, and may they reach out to friends. We pray for those who are dealing with depression during this time, that you would lift them up, Lord, and pour out your joy upon them. We pray for those experiencing anxiety, 
that they will trust in you and offer their anxiety to you, allowing you to be their peace. We pray for those who are struggling with addictions, that they would know that you are there to break the chains of those addictions, to break that bondage and to set them free. We pray, Lord, that they would be released from their addictions and enjoy freedom in you, enjoy that new life that you desire to give us. We pray for those who have lost their jobs, that they may be blessed with the things they need to provide for themselves and for their families. We pray for all of those who are struggling with their finances, that they may be able to trust in you, Lord, and as hard as it may be some days, but to know that you will provide and all will be well with you. We pray for families during this time, for unity. We pray in a very special way for those who may be experiencing some marital troubles, that they would turn to you together in prayer, Lord, and allow your peace to come upon them and upon their children, and to bring healing to whatever hurts divisions might be there in their marriage and their family life. We know there are so many other things to pray for, Lord, and you know all of our needs. You know what is in our hearts, you know what is in our minds. And so we bring these things before you, and everything that we are holding inside of ourselves in silence, and we trust, Lord, in your power to heal. Because you are the healer of our souls. You are the healer of our minds and our bodies. And in this time of struggle and darkness and doubt, we trust in your power to heal. And so we ask you in faith, Lord, to pour out that healing upon all the hurt in this world, all the illness, all the suffering. Lift us up, Lord, and be the healer of our minds and our bodies and our souls. We offer you all this, Lord, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
I want to thank all of you for joining me and Anne and Colleen and Sydney tonight for this time of healing, prayer, and song. And I certainly hope that you felt the peace of God as we spent this time together and maybe experienced some healing. We know that the Lord is a healer. And in the midst of all the difficulties and struggles that are going on in the world today, God is doing many wonderful things, and God is healing, and He is working miracles. And so we just need to remain strong in our faith and know that God does want to work miracles for us as well. And one of those is to bring healing and peace to us. And so let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for the gift of faith that you have given to us, and the gift of being a community of faith. And no matter how it is that we gather, in our parish church, on our Facebook page, it is our prayer that brings us together, that joins us to you and to each other as well. So we thank you for the blessings of this time, Lord, and we thank you for your power to bring healing to our lives. And so may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. In Christ alone, my hope is found. He is my light, my strength, my song. This cornerstone, this solid ground, firm for the fierce drought and storm. What heights of love!
Here.